Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our very special guest is here with us today, Claire Lopez. She's a friend of ATP. She's an international scholar. She's known around the world for her expertise in international terrorism, uh, jihad, uh, many things in the intelligence community that she can't talk about, i.e. the CIA. And she's the founder president of Lopez Liberty LLC. Welcome back, Claire. Hello, Barry. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be back with you. Oh, me too. Uh, in this segment, we are going to discuss and devote the entire show to something you sent me uh, over the past couple of days that when I did my research into your very scholarly research, shocked the heck out of me. Um, it's the excerpts from a book you have found called The Naked Communist. It's a 1958 book by an American uh, political theorist named Cleon Skousen. He was an FBI agent, a lawyer, highly educated, wrote a lot of books, but this one specifically has been reprinted many times. There's over a million copies in print. And I'm shocked by what he predicted in the 1950s. Um, he talked about a communist plot to take over America, and he explained how they plan to do it. Um, this is a guy whose book is recommended by Glenn Beck, by Ben Carson. Um, they talk about a plan that is right there in black and white for everyone to read, and I want you to explain it to us. So let's start out by me asking you, why is it nobody knows this story? Because when I read it, I thought first thing, oh my gosh, this is a narrative of what's happening every day in America, Claire. Yeah, absolutely right, Barry. And um, the thing is that um, W. Cleon Skousen wrote this book, published at least in 1958, but it was based on testimony given before Congress, the House, on Un the, the House Committee on Un-American Activities, and also, of course, Joseph McCarthy's um, uh, Senate hearings on the same topic from at least three or five or so years prior to that. And um, so Skousen wanted to make that testimony from former communists more available to Americans. And that's why he wrote this book, The Naked Communist, and this really attention-grabbing chapter 13, uh, which contains uh, the title of the, of the chapter, 45 Communist uh, Goals of Communism Today. Well, that's um, what we're and, gonna and talk about so today. Shocking. We're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna give you bullet points, you explain it, and by the end, everybody's gonna be as shocked as I am, having read it for the first time over the past couple of days. So let's talk about chapter 13. He talks about 45 goals. We don't have two hours. We picked out a couple. Let's talk about a few. Number 15 says, you want to capture one or both of the political parties in the United States. And it seems like the Democrat Party, which has become the Democrat Socialist Party in America, governors, mayors, councilmen, um, city attorneys, state's attorneys, aren't they already there? Is that happening? I think we can put a check mark num uh, next to that one, yeah. Um, the Democratic Socialists of America uh, is essentially a communist organization. And if you listen to somebody like a Trevor Loudon, who's probably this country's foremost expert on, on that kind of subject, uh, the infiltration into our political system, he will talk about the Democratic Socialists of America as a communist organization and how many of the Democratic Party's members belong to it. Number 17, Claire, get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and communism propaganda. Soften the curriculum. Get control of the teachers' associations. Put the party line in the textbooks. This one is just so critical. And, you know, we're talking about a book and a plan that was laid out, you know, 70 years ago or more. And, and this one about getting inside the schools, getting inside the curriculum, the textbook, 
textbooks and the, and the teachers unions. This is perhaps, I think, maybe the most important bullet point or point of the whole 45 list. Um, and now we've, we've had how many generations since that point in time, since the 1950s, turned out of our schools and you wonder, you know, where these ideas are coming from. You, you, you get these mic on the street interviews, right? They go to college campuses and things and, you know, with a mic. Uh, yes, I'm a communist. Yes, I believe in socialism. Well, what is socialism? Oh, well, it's free stuff. They don't even know what it is, but they've been taught and programmed uh, to spout what is essentially Marxism. Number 20, infiltrate the press. Oh, this, this has to be right up there next, next to uh, the, the, the schools, uh, absolutely. Um, you know, especially today, um, I think that what we're looking at, and we can talk about this maybe in a later, later segment, I was just um, talking about this uh, just a little bit ago, and it is about an agency of the Chinese Communist Party, which is called uh, the United Front work department. It is answerable directly to the um, Central Committee of the Chinese Communist Party, and its job is propaganda. It's information operations. Every bit um, as widespread and funded and backed and sophisticated as the Soviet communist uh, common turn ever was. And well, yes, as, they are here in the United States, and they have control of all of our major media. Well, as a corollary, number 21, gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and motion pictures. Exactly. So um, if, if we look at reports about this United Front work department, and it's online, um, we can see that their targets were the mainstream media uh, outlets like ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, so forth, and social media, Facebook. Um, obviously TikTok, which all the kids listen to, um, and YouTube. And the thing is that, and print media, well, print and online, like the Washington Post, the New York Times, every one of these media outlets and or their parent companies have business interests inside of China. And that's where the leverage goes because they don't wanna lose that market of 1.4 billion uh, or whatever it is, people in China. And so they kowtow to the Chinese Communist Line and the United Front Work Department manages all of it. Claire, tell our viewers how they can find you, please. Well, I uh, am working on a uh, website that I don't have quite yet, but in the meantime, you can find me on Twitter at Claire M. Lopez. I'm on Parlay as well now at Claire M. Lopez. And in my name too, uh, at Facebook, I write at the United West. I do videos also at Sharia Crime Stoppers. And you can find my pieces also published at the Citizens Commission on National Security, ccnationalsecurity.org. Wonderful. Please go check her out. She's a scholar. You need to learn from her. And don't forget to subscribe to our text message service by sending the word TRUTH, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202, push send. You'll be subscribed to all of our videos and reports absolutely free. It'll come to your cell phone every couple of days, and you'll never pay for any of it. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.